Window boxes usually require a little bit more attention because of overhangs, they don't receive the natural rainwater. So here is a waterless window box. First, I'll start by recycling the soil from last year's window box. Go ahead and just dump out the soil, add a little fertilizer, leaving the debris to decompose from last year's plants. And these are my wire frames that I got from a thrift store, pretty cheap. To line the frames, I just used some blue jean legs from some cutoffs. I used to use these coconut fiber liners, but they're kind of spindy and they're also very fragile. I also use a couple of disposable diapers and this is how I use them. Go ahead and open them up and soak them thoroughly so that the gel inside gets all wet. And once they're thoroughly soaked, go ahead and open one end of them so you can get the innards out and just dump them in with that soil. Add a little bit of fresh potting soil and add a little bit of water and stir it all up. The gel from the diaper innards is what's going to help the soil retain some water and slowly release it into the plant. Once your soil is ready, you get to choose some plants. Um, I like to mix plants. I'll mix lettuces, succulents, herbs, flowers, uh, whatever you think looks good together. I went for a little bit of red and purple this year, I guess. I start by choosing the larger plants that I'm going to be putting in and then I will choose some smaller fillers to put in in between. I went ahead and lined the wire rack with the blue jeans and then I will continue to use the coconut fiber until it falls all the way apart and after I laid that in there I put down a thin layer of soil. For the large plants, I decided on blacky sweet potato vine, euphorbia, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but akinia. And then I put in the fillers. My fillers include begonia, lobelia, pak choy, a fuchsia, and some rosy red romaine lettuce. Once all your plants and fillers are in place, loosely fill it with the soil. You'll need to do it again in a few days after it settles. Once it's hung, I wanted to add one more way of watering, and I love these little water nannies. I got a gift card for my son, and so I purchased these. You just put them towards the back, fill up a wine bottle, and put it upside down in there. Thanks for watching, and happy planting.